بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم let's understand ADC by using pic 16 f 616 this pic has 14 pins we are using few of them VDT is for power supply VS is for the ground and RC6 and 6 channel channel number 6 is used for analog input and the result will be shown on the port A, RA0, RA1, RA2, RA4, and FF. So we take analog video here from any analog uh, sensors like a uh, uh, potentiometer, a temperature sensor, pressure sensor. We take video here and we'll show the result on this port A. Uh, now let's uh, see the code, how to write code for it. For writing code for the analog to digital converter, R4 using sensors. You have to write code on the MPLF XID. First, you have to configure this configuration bits like FOC, internal resistor will be used, watch of timer is off, power supply, uh, power up timer is off, um, master clear is on, brown amplifier is on, code production is off this way, and uh, define external customer frequency, uh, customer crystal frequency is 4 megahertz. We have to use a global variable, and this the global variable is you can see. And the global variable is used to store the mm, result of uh, uh, analog value, analog input value, which has been converted into digital value. The digital value will be stored in this integer voltage. Uh, uh, OAD main mm, and the main function, main function will start here. And cell is a, a register. There are main three registers and cell, trace A, trace B, C. Two ports are, two ports are there in port 16F616. And cell is equal to zero. It means all pins will act. Acts all pins. Uh, all pins uh, will act as a digital. So all the pins will as uh, configured as a digital value because we are using only one analog uh, will analog input, which is channel six. For this, we have to write in six is equal to one, and trace C two is equal to one. Because this channel is in port C, so trace C is trace C2 is equal to 1 as you can see here. RC2, RC2 is equal to 1 and analog channel is equal to 1. So we are using only 6 channel and RC2 is an input. Mm. Then uh, trace C is equal to 0, 0, port C is an output. Trace A is equal to 0, 0, port A is X is an output. And then port initial values will be port A is equal to zero, port C is equal to zero. The do and our ADC will start here. First, we have to configure ADCON zero is equal to nine cross nine B. How it is zero? What is nine cross nine B? Uh, we have to configure ADC in a log to digital conversion configuration register zero. There are three register will be used for ADC. First one is zero, one is one. And the third will be NCL. Uh, you have to concern the data sheet of this PIC 16F616. Uh, as we can see, at con zero and at con zero, uh, we have to configure all these eight, eight bits are there. Uh, and in the digital digital format is one right register byte. We have to put one and uh, voltage reference is, uh, should be equal to zero for VDT. If we are using VDT is a voltage reference. Uh, we are using channel 6 for this we have to write uh, 110 here channel 2 1 here CHS1 is 10 we have to use 1 1 and 0 uh, go should be equal to 1 and at count should be equal to 1 uh, so so let's use the calculator so the calculator we have used uh, first one is 1 as you can see here 1 this is one, this is zero, this is again one, one, and zero, oh, this is zero. So one is one, this is zero, this is one, one, this is zero, and go is one, and add gone is one. We have to convert into hexadecimal video. Now it is wrong, one, it is wrong, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, one, zero, then it's also one, zero is here. Again, clear it. 1, 0, and then 0. On implementary will be considered 0. Then is 1, 
and at count so on it convert into exact decimal value which is 9b that's why we wrote here 9b is 9b and it con 1 is equal to 100 zero zero. like there it con 1 is equal to 110 why 110 one zero zero? One zero zero because we are using foc and uh, internal oscillator is divided by 4 and we are using this one so we have to write 11 one one and 0 110 one one zero. We have to apply the delay for 5 microseconds to about 20 microseconds for for charging the capacitor for charging charging capacitor which is called acquisition time you can see at the acquisition time here uh, and that will the acquisition time here 19.7 microsecond we are using this time because uh, for input to analog value is here and uh, this is a 10 meg kilo ohm resistor should be attached to the input 10 kilo ohm resistor must uh, and attached to the input and this there will be an automatic switching effect switch it will be switched on for a few seconds for a few microsecond we have to switch on this for uh, 20 microsecond and have to charge this capacitor that's why we wrote here uh, 20 microsecond where 20 microsecond is needed and I have to switch on to switch on the over this button for charging the capacitor we have a uh, giving time for this switch 20 microsecond then start conversion go is equal to one minute start converting ADC will start ADC will start will start and then we have to wait for the result when you got result, we have to store the result and the voltage uh, address in the voltage variable. Uh, how to store this value in the voltage variable? Address L is 8 pin register, address H is 8 pin register. We cannot add this one directly. Why we cannot? Because you can see here uh, LSB, low significant bit, has 8 bits and most significant bit is 2 bits. We cannot add this to directly as 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 is 1 1 1 is 0 1 and carry 1 we cannot directly add this to 1 because L, this is the less significant bit this is the most significant bit so we have to shift right 8 uh, 8 bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 this way 8 bits we have to this way we have to shift right eight eight bits we have to shift uh, right eight digits then we can head this way so, so the result will be one zero then one one then zero one zero one zero one one so this will be eight bi eight bit mm, result value will be stored in the voltage value then we have to show the this result on the port a port a is only six uh, pins so we have to remove we have to shift right to remove the uh, low significant bit then the result will be shown the voltage a and we again we have giving a delay of 5 microsecond so we can simulate it this is there we have to take the video here first we have to compile compile build the code compiling so clean successfully we we have compiled our C code then we have to simulate these codes here the start simulation so analog value we are using channel number 6 is an analog input and uh, the result will be shown on port A this one port A0 then port A1 port uh, a2 so the analog value will be here and the digital output is shown on the port a let's increase the value yes as you can see we are applying analog value to microcontroller 